Okay, uh, looking at number four here on 13.7, it asks us to find the domain and then write the domain in interval no notation. This is um, one of the new skills that you're going to learn. Um, if you're asked to find the domain uh, for a square root function, what you can do is you can take um, the value or the, the, um, the items under the square root sign and you can take those and set those greater than or equal to zero and then solve that inequality. And that's going to tell you what input values are uh, safe or will work for this function. So if we subtract 6.3, we get negative 3x is greater than or equal to negative 6.3. And then we can divide by negative 3. And we get x is less than or equal to, remembering our rule dividing by a negative, uh, 2.1. Okay? So that's the domain of the function, but it asks for it in interval notation. So remembering our interval notation, um, this is going to be going towards negative infinity. And then we have... 2.1 is our boundary on the right side, okay? And then we want to, since it can be equal to 2.1, we use this stronger notation signifying that it can equal 2.1, okay? Now, if we can remember this for uh, for cubert, the domain of a cubert function, if you think of a, a cubert function, it, it goes off in both directions. And you can look at this in Desmos. You can put this in um, the... the for y1, put this function in for Desmos, and you'll see that it goes off in both directions. So for cubrit and odd functions, we can just remember that it's negative infinity, infinity or all real, all reals or all real numbers. Okay. So for even roots like the second, fourth, sixth root, we got to use this idea where we set it um, greater than or equal to zero. Okay, but for odd roots, we can just remember it's uh, um, negative infinity to infinity. Now, for this problem right here, they uh, ask, ask us to find h of 6. Okay, so we have to read the instructions to the problem, know what we're doing, and uh, this one just uh, simply to put that in there. And we have the square root of 2 times 6 plus 8, the square root of... 12 plus 8, square root of 20. And then we have to see if the problem is asking us to write the decimal or the simplified version. Um, it says keep it in radical notation. So we have the square root of 4 times the square root of 5 to radical 5. Okay. Maybe a nice idea to look at these uh, functions in Desmos and just see how, how they look and um, get familiar with the shape of the graph.